Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to create a resource histogram in Excel 2010. So first off, let's take a look at what a resource histogram actually is. So in my middle worksheet here, there are two parts to it. Over on my left hand side I've got a table of resources and over on my right hand side I've got a histogram representing those resources and this is what we're going to learn how to draw. Examining my data over here first of all, my resources are people. These are the people who are going to be working on my project. In this case this is a software development project and we can see that the project duration is 12 months from January to December. We can see from my table that a project manager is required for every month throughout the project, but that another resource, business analyst, we require two in January, two in February, two in March, and then one for each of the next three months, and then none for the next uh, four months or so. And we can see if we follow down and read through the table that we require different numbers of people at different times throughout the project. And a resource histogram is a good way to graphically illustrate uh, these data here. So over on the right hand side I can see uh, my resources listed in the legend here on the right hand side. So this legend here corresponds to my resource list over here. And then each bar uh, has different colours representing the different resource requirements throughout each month. So for example I can see the blue bar across the very bottom down here. Part of each bar uh, represents the project manager, one required every month. We can see the next one, the business analyst, two are required in January, two in February, two in March, one for the next three months, and then none for the next four months. And also if I look further up the diagram, I can see a large group here of purple uh, colour of soft representing the software developers. We can see that none are required for the first three months, and then it starts to slowly build up after that. So let's see how we, go, we can very quickly draw a histogram like this, representing our resources. So this worksheet here, I've got the same data as I had on the previous worksheet. And creating a resource histogram is quite a simple thing to do. The easiest way to do it is just to select everything. So from cell A1 down to cell M8 in this case, I'm selecting everything, labels, uh, headings, and all the data here. In the insert ribbon across the top of my uh, Excel window, I'm going to choose the column type and the type of um, histogram that I need to use, I'm going to choose the stacked column in 3D one here, in 3D just to make it look a little bit better. So select that. Just move it over here to the right. And we can see we've got our chart very similar to the one that we had just now in the other worksheet. We can see all my data represented here, uh, all my legend uh, in here as well, representing the data in the table. Now supposing uh, we need to add another resource into this table. Let's say for example in our project that uh, we realize that after a while we're going to need a trainer. So let me put that in. A trainer is a resource added here and I'm going to put in no trainer required for the first four months and then we need one trainer for three months May, June and July and then no trainers for the rest of the project. So this is a new resource added in to my data. Now this has not updated to the resource histogram over here uh, but it's quite simple to include it so just select the table here make sure it's selected with, with the selected box around the, the chart in the center here and then if you look carefully over at your t table of data on the left hand side you can see a blue bar in my case it might be a different color in your Excel a blue bar around the existing data and if I just move to the corner of that and drag it down one more line to include the data for trainer that will then update to my resource histogram. You can see, first of all, the trainer has been automatically added to the legend, and it's represented by a pink color, and you can see that that's showing up here in May, and in June, and in July, and it's not showing up in any of the other months. So that's how you create a simple resource histogram in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.